In our morning rounds, a new study on the impact of sugar and how it affects your children. Researchers slashed the amount of sugar in obese kids' diets, and there were dramatic improvements in their health in just nine days. Nine. Our Dr. David Agus was with us at the table with the results. David, good morning to you. Morning, Gail. Or should we say Mr. Buzzkill right before Halloween? Oh, come on. <laughs> right before Halloween. Moderation. Yeah, the timing of this is very interesting. But we've already known that sugar is very high in cow. Don't look so stunned. You know, that it's, we've, already, we've already known that sugar is very high in exactly. calories. Exactly. We've had so yeah. many people tell us that, haven't That's we? That's right. So yeah, but this is, is a this? cool study. Okay. Because, well, cool is the wrong word. But mm. these are kids with the disease. They had right. metabolic mm -hmm. syndrome. Mm -hmm. They were large. And they kept them on the same amount of calories. They actually replaced sugar with pizza and potato chips. And so wow. for nine days, same amount of calories, just took out the sugar and left them, instead of 25% sugar in the diet, down to 10%. And every number got better in nine days. And they're eating pizza and potato chips. You mean like chips. cholesterol yes. and stuff like that? Cholesterol, oh. blood pressure, the fats in the blood, all of that got better in nine days. The fact that it changed so quickly, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that, first of all, there's hope. <laughs> and metabolic syndrome, diabetes, heart disease is a major problem in our country. And kids, when we give them this crazy amount of sugar for everything they eat, whether it be the sodas and the candy bars, it causes a problem. So Lustig and his group at the Benioff Children's Hospital did this study, and it really showed a point that it's not the calories. Not every calorie is the same. Mm -hmm. Calories from straight sugar are a bigger problem, especially in children. So what specific kind of sugar? Are you talking about fruit juice? Are you just talking about candy, just soda? What do you mean yes, when you say sugar? Yes, and yes. Okay. Okay, but what are the things that yeah. we might not expect to have so much sugar? sugar. Well, I think 75% of the packaged goods in a supermarket have added sugar. To make so, them taste better? To make them taste better. And it's the sweet tooth. And one of the other cool things, or it's actually not cool again, that came from this study is, is that when you have the fructose and the glucose, lots of it, your appetite goes up. It doesn't satiate you. It makes you want so more. So you keep eating more. Yeah, right. And so when they showed is that these kids, they actually <clears throat> didn't want them to lose weight. So they're eating the same amount of calories. They kept trying to push them to eat more, but when they didn't have all that sugar, they weren't hungry anymore. Mm -hmm. So should David, we I want never to get your response. Desserts? Should we never eat dessert? It's moderation. And you can have a dessert mm -hmm. or you can have a dessert. And they're different. I want to point out the pushback that the sugar associations yes. called it a poorly designed and executed study. The Grocery Manufacturers Association pointed out this was a study of just 43 mm -hmm. obese children. And so it doesn't, you can't generalize it to the entire population. But isn't it true that there have been studies done on adults and the same type of studies, and by reducing sugar, they also had dramatic results in terms of diabetes and these diseases? Yes, I mean, they're right. This is a small study, it didn't have a control group, all those things. But this ain't rocket science, right? right? Yeah. We've known sugar yeah. is bad. We have known this. And this yeah, was a study definitely. that just changed the calorie form. And who would think giving potato chips and giving right. pizza actually allowed them to dramatically change the numbers? Not that that's the message we want to send, but. Substituting sugar for pizza and all that stuff. Yeah. Yes, we want to send the message. Potato chips and pizza is the only thing you need to eat and no. you could be healthy. I know. Thank no. you, Dr. David. Real food, <laughs> moderation. Yes, moderation. There's that word. Yes.